now is Judy Thongori. Judy is a family lawyer and she's going to help us to understand a little bit more about situations of this kind. Thank you so much for being with us tonight, Judy. Thank you, Judy. Um, before I, I get into the specifics, yes. um, what in your experience mm -hmm. is the main cause of problems, feuds in families? Um, I think those uh, problems and challenges are there because we are human beings. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, are we are competitive and those situations will happen uh, from time to time. But what causes them to get to the levels that they get to, in my view, is a lack of legal support, is a lack of a legal infrastructure, is a lack of access to justice when conflict happens. So that in situations of polygamy, I see you mentioned uh, polygamy. Mm -hmm. um, while that is recognized, um, okay, it's, it's recognized as a system Legally. of law under mm -hmm. customary law, mm -hmm. we do not have um, an act of parliament that um, regulates customary marriages where polygamy is. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like uh, touch and go. It's like um, nobody understands what's the responsibility of one wife, the other, the, the husband, what the children do in that kind of situation. Okay. And, and, and so for me, and looking at um, the, the new constitution and why it provides the need for parliament to have legislation in place to support families, I think it's critical and I think it should be done in a shorter time than the five years that's proposed. Okay, so really it's a struggle between finding, you know, this, this is customary, but yes. we've, we've gone into this system of, of marriages in churches yes. or even in the Muslim system, mm -hmm. and there's no support for the customary uh, marriages where you know you really want to go uh, maybe in some communities they have the elders yes. but that may not be enough is what you're saying and, and there needs to be a framework in place that is clear and uh, and and would happen at the grassroots where people could go and, and get um, advice support counseling absolutely Judy mm -hmm. but also that uh, <coughs> as a result of the lack of legal support mm -hmm. and legal definition we have a hybrid of sorts okay so you have a man who marries one wife under a monogamous system that provides for one man one wife to the exclusion of all others this but he gets involved mainly in a church precisely right mm -hmm. precisely mm -hmm. and then he gets married to s another woman or starts to live with another woman in a manner in which to suggest that she's a wife and she he has children too with that woman and then the question that arises is, is who has the better right here? Is it this one who has um, a certificate of marriage or is it this one who has um, perhaps currently living with the husband, as the case may be? And the, there's a lacuna in, in, that, in that respect. And until the law defines, until we know who is who, who is where, do they both have rights, then it, the, the confusion and the conflict will remain. May I just tell you that um, currently in the law, if the first wife has the marriage certificate and the man subsequently cohabits or lives with another woman and has children with that woman to the extent that, okay, to the extent that there is um, a relationship that could be defined as a marriage, mm -hmm. that woman in law cannot lay any claim to that man or his property during the lifetime of the man, okay? The children may, then the children can benefit from, from, from maintenance by the husband. But upon the passing away mm -hmm. of that man, that woman under the law of succession, uh, under the law of succession, will be permitted, will be allowed by the law to access the estate of that man. So look at it, so women ask me, so who is a wife? How can I be the only wife during his lifetime? Because I've got the marriage certificate, but upon his death, people come from the woodwork, as it were, mm -hmm. and claim and actually have a legal right to his estate. So do you see that kind of confusion? Well, well let me ask you this, yes. Judy. Th th there's a role that law plays, yes. and, and it's, it's required, it's necessary. It is. But why is it that we cannot discipline ourselves? Yes. Must it be the law coming in and imposing? And this is not happening in one family. Yes. The Kirima is just one family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's happening in thousands of families yes. across this country. We see stories of brothers, you know, yes. um, in few because yes. the father has passed away and, yes. and you know we see so many things in the newspaper people mm -hmm. even killing each other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what do we as a society need mm -hmm. to do to clean up our acts especially mm -hmm. with respect to the family which mm -hmm. is the foundation really indeed by the Julie let me just say I am very pleased with the proposed with the cons with the new Constitution okay. for providing for family within the Constitution for the recognition that is a fundamental unit mm -hmm. and the basis of social of social order mm -hmm. and even for you for giving prime time to the family because you know what it is time that we brought our family into focus in this country because I think we've done all the other things we've done politics first we've done commerce first before we thought about the family mm -hmm. and you know at the end of Julie at the end of the day Julie there is nothing that matters more to you to me to the next person 
than the family. So I think it's about time that we had this debate because values are critical and we need to look at what family values we ought to have. But more than that, being human beings, mm -hmm. we are who we are. We will have conflict. We need to have those standards in, 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 in a document, you know, called a law, where you can look up and say, this is how this conflict can be resolved. You need to go to, to be able to access a court and say, we have a dispute here. Um, who, should, who should do what, you know, and at what time? And that dispute ought to be speedily managed so that you don't have levels of conflict that cause such pain to children, to parents, and to other people around them. Yes. And let me ask this. And, mm -hmm. and you know, I, I, the issue of inheritance, it's, yes. it's, a, it's a big problem. It is. Um, what, in, in, for instance, in, and it's terrible to think about it. Kirima mm -hmm. is here. He mm -hmm. may not be well. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are looking at the interests mm -hmm. revolving around this. Mm -hmm. Number one, what, mm -hmm. what does the Constitution say in mm -hmm. terms of, of, of inheritance mm -hmm. generally? Mm -hmm. Number two, how important is it for people to write wills mm -hmm. to ensure that their wishes, you know, mm -hmm. are, are taken care of mm -hmm. after? they've passed on. Okay. The Constitution does not say much except to say that men and women have rights, have equal rights within and without marriage, and even at the point that, th that they get married. Mm -hmm. But it does set general principles in terms of what um, um, uh, law um, we, we will set, and that's that you know both of you have an equal right, so that upon the death of a father, for example, uh, both girls and boys will be expected to share equally in the inheritance. And that's much the position in the succession, in the Law of Succession Act, you know, that, that, that we have today. So that's a, a beginning point in, in taking it forward. But I think that uh, the, the place we need to go to are the courts that irrespective of this uh, appearing in the law, it's not going to mean that uh, disputes will be automatically minimized. Mm -hmm. I think it's in how the court will take its responsibility under this act, under this uh, new constitution, to ensure that family disputes are resolved as quickly as possible and that they're as clear as possible that this is the way, you know, the way forward, going forward about inheritance and matters like that. In, mm. in a situation like this one, this is the final question, what yeah. would you advise? Should mm. people be doing it out yes. in the public? Should they mm. call a family? family meeting, yes. what would your advice be for any family in a situation where there is tension, there's, there's feuding, and there are problems, big problems? Well, let me even start with the question I didn't answer. Mm -hmm. Just remembered mm -hmm. the question of wills. How important it is it? Yes. yes. It is so critical. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you how important it is. And it's so easy to write a will. And all you need is to have two independent witnesses. You don't even need to have a lawyer. You know, do it. And, and the, the witnesses do not even have to read the content of, your, of the document that you call a will. And then it is it's uh, security stored whether in the bank or wherever it is, and it's read to your people when you're no longer there. For me, I can only say it's very important, and the courts will be very slow to interfere with the will because it is the will of the testator. It's I sitting here, Julian, saying, mm -hmm. of that property of mine, I wanted to go to that person. I must have reasons to do that, and the courts will respect that for the most part, you know, unless I have left out a dependent or unless I have uh, written a will in circumstances which suggest that I didn't know what I was mm -hmm. doing. So let me just say, speak to the Kenyans and tell them, let us write wills. Let us not just take care of our families when we are here. Let us see whether we can take that, that further when we are no longer here to be able to tell them that's yours and that's yours. Mm -hmm. But um, the last question you asked is what's the best way forward? Mm -hmm. It's I would suggest all the time that could people sit together? Could they pick, you know, two people, two members of the society, elders of the society, and try to sort out their disputes. It's so much easier for everybody, it's less expensive, and at the end of the day, people can be able to move forward as a family. Because I can tell you, when they come to court, they cease to exist as a family. You know, because of the kind of things that you know go, the kind of thing that goes back and forth and so I would welcome that thank you so much and we know it can cause a lot of pain yes. <laughs> it, uh, it disrupts your whole life your it whole does. schedule when your family is not working so you've heard a will is very easy to write you just need two witnesses Absolutely. you don't even need a lawyer exactly. and uh, it would be valid and also if you do have problems try to talk about it try to organize with elders to come together bring your family together and discuss it so